Welcome to this next session of our growth track for your spiritual life. I'm Pastor John Miller, and I'm thrilled that you're taking time to invest in your spiritual life. These little videos I'm doing take about six, seven, eight minutes, but they can be invaluable for your spiritual growth. This week, we're going to talk about part four, growing spiritually, our water baptism. Well, what is water baptism? In a nutshell, water baptism is an outward profession of our faith in Jesus Christ. When we're immersed in water, literally going underwater, it symbolizes our identification with the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus Christ. But there's also a spiritual work done in our heart providing victory over sin when we're water baptized. Let me read Romans chapter 6. He asked the question, what shall we say then? Are we to continue in sin so grace may abound? No way. In other words, the issue is sin, but notice how he ties water baptism in. How can we who died to sin still live in it? Don't you know that all of us who have been baptized into Jesus Christ were baptized into his death? Now listen to this. We were buried therefore with him by baptism into death. Imagine the water, when you go into it, that water is like a, a watery grave. You're going underwater. You're, you're dying in Christ in order that just as Christ was raised from the dead by the glory of God, so we might walk in newness of life. So he brought together sin, burying the old man, and then under the watery grave, coming up as Christ rose from the grave in newness of life. There's a spiritual work that we can appropriate by faith. Now, baptism followed conversion in the early church. Sadly, some people look at it as optional today. No way in the New Testament. Acts chapter 8, verse 35, a great story about Philip and a man that was called the Ethiopian eunuch. It's an incredible story. But Acts 8, chapter 35, beginning with the same scripture, Philip told him the good news about Jesus. He becomes a Christian. And notice it said, as they rode along, they came to some water, and the eunuch said, here's some water. Why can't I be baptized? So it wasn't optional in the New Testament. As soon as they came to Christ, they were eager to experience this uh, uh, water baptism. So how does Church on the Rock baptize people? Well, we do immerse people. Literally, in the water, you know, we, someone holds you and you go under and you come up. But here's what we say over people. Uh, Jesus, in Matthew 28, 19, he said, go and make disciples of all nations. Jesus said, baptize them in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. It's interesting in the book of Acts, Acts chapter 2, verse 38, when Peter said, be baptized every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins. So we catch both ways. When we baptize people, we literally say that we baptize you in the name of the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit, comma, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. So here's an easy application. If you have not been baptized as an adult, and many of us were sprinkled or perhaps you were baptized as a child, I believe it's super important once you've made an adult commitment to Christ to take this next step because you're fully aware. If you haven't been baptized and would like to be, you call our office. You can do it anytime. And uh, we will uh, pick any weekend service that works for you. We'll be honored to baptize you. I encourage you to bring your family and friends. It'll be very meaningful to you, to them, but they'll also hear the saving words of Christ. Uh, let me encourage you, if you've not done, done whew, if you've not done so, visit our church website, churchontherock.org. You'll learn a lot about the church. And also, if you've not attended the Connect class, that's what we do. It's four weeks long. It's very simple, um, and uh, you can uh, go through it. It's an orientation to the church. We've got people that will meet with you at the end that will literally coach you how to find your place at Church on the Rock. So that's it for today. Next time, we're going to talk about how to grow spiritually, part five, and it's about the Holy Spirit. God bless you, and thanks for listening.